In this video, we're going to learn all about hypertext links in bookends. First, I'm going to show you how to add links inside bookends to websites or to locations in the Finder. Second, I'm going to show you how to add links to references and groups from within bookends. Then we're going to change gears and I'm going to show you how to create links that you could paste into other applications to link back to bookends. We'll start with linking to references and groups and then move on to linking to PDFs and even specific annotations within PDFs. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can use bookends to export all your annotations, such as highlights and underlines, from a PDF to a text file, which will contain links back to each annotation in the original PDF. Let's start simple. To add a link to a website, simply select some text, right-click, click Add Link, and paste in your link. This is a link I prepared earlier. Click OK. You can see the link's destination if you hover over it. When I click on it, it takes me to my web page. You can copy, edit, or delete the link by right-clicking on it. You can also add a link to somewhere in the Finder. Right-click on some selected text, click Add Link, and put in a file path starting with file colon slash slash slash. This is a link to my Utilities folder. There are several ways to create links within bookends, but the one I'm going to show you is the floating link window. Select some text, then right-click and choose Search Library to create link. Or you can tap the control key twice. You can change the hotkey in the Scan and Bib section of Bookends' preferences. To link to a specific reference, start typing search terms to find it. Once you find the reference you're looking for, you can double-click on it, or click on it and hit Return, or Set Link. As before, hovering over the link shows you the destination. Click on it to go to the linked reference. Now is a good time to show you the Back feature. Once you've clicked on a link in Bookends, you can go to the Refs menu and click Back, or press Command Left Bracket, to take you to the reference you came from. This only goes back one step, no matter how many times you press Back. If you want to retrace your steps even further, use the Recently Viewed group over here. It's also worth noting that once you go back, either by clicking Back in the menu, or pressing Command Left Bracket, you can return to the reference you came from by clicking forward or command right bracket. You can also create a link to a group or folder. I'm going to select some text, double tap the control key to bring up the floating links window, click on group, select the item I want, and click set link. Now I'm going to show you how to create links that you can paste into other applications. Again, let's start simple. Right-click on a reference, click Copy Hypertext Link, then paste it somewhere else. See, when I paste it into TextEdit, it is automatically recognized and formatted as a link. When I click on it, it reopens the correct library and takes me to the correct reference, even though I had clicked on a different reference before closing the library. I'm also going to paste it into Obsidian, which is a markdown editor. It is also recognized as a link, though it looks different. I'm showing Obsidian because I have it handy, but this works across a wide range of applications, including DevonThink and Tinderbox. You can also create links to groups and folders by right-clicking on them and clicking Copy Hypertext Link. Now I'm going to show you how to create links to PDFs within bookends. Let's start by finding a reference that has an attachment. I'm going to scroll to this page with all the bar charts, then click on the gear icon and click Copy Link. To show there's nothing up my sleeve, I'm going to scroll around a bit, change references, and then close this library. I'll paste the link into TextEdit, and when I click on it, it reopens the library, finds the right reference, the right attachment, and takes me back to all those bar charts. You can also create links to specific annotations, such as highlights and underlines. 
These are called deep PDF links. I'm going to scroll back up to some text I previously highlighted, right-click on it, and select Copy Link. After closing the library, I'll paste it into TextEdit. Clicking on the link takes me back to the same annotation in the PDF. Another way to copy a link is from the Notes stream. Simply right-click on the note and click Copy Link. You don't even have to link to an annotation at all. Instead, you can just select some text and click Copy Link. When I paste that into Text Edit and click on it, it brings me right back to the text I had previously selected. You also have the option of holding the Command key and dragging the note into its destination application. One final topic. Bookends can extract all your PDF annotations and give them back to you as formatted text or markdown. Go to File and click on Extract PDF Annotations. You have the option of extracting annotations from all references in your library or just those you have selected. You have a number of other options to play with in this window. When I click Extract, I get a window full of my annotations. I can copy them into any program I like, such as TextEdit. It even has links back to the annotations within Bookends. Instead of copy-pasting, you can save them directly to the disk. I'm going to unminimize my annotations, then go to File, Save PDF Annotations, and choose a name and destination. One final note is that you can control the format of extracted annotations by going to Biblio, Default Format and Output Style, and selecting whatever you'd prefer. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for listening.